positive, after man. After we record this show, I will be done thinking about this loss. But for now, I will talk about it. The Bears lose to the Rams. I think it was, was it 28-10? Uh, 24-10. 24-10. Um, they had a defensive touchdown, the Bears did. And then they also had a field goal, and that was it. The offense did not look good. Um, I don't like the play calling right now. Matt Nagy has lost all trust from a lot of fans, um, especially after Brian Greasy, which I, I also have some thoughts on, like, maybe, I don't know. If, I'm guessing Nick Foles probably thought he said this in, like, confidence. Like, is that right? Com- yeah, not yeah. confidence. Confidentiality. Sorry. Yeah, but a guy who's been in the league for like eight years, you think if you I would know? But I understand, but that's not, that. I really don't care about that. Uh, I care about that what he said, and it, it, it's it's something that's maybe he's not was wrong. The problem with Mitch as a rookie quarterback. If a guy like Nick Foles isn't liking how he's running it, maybe that was some of the reason too with Mitch. You don't know. I I uh, put a tweet out today, um, and it was. Uh, a video or a kind of a gif of Mitch Trubisky and Matt Nagy. And it's like, who's actually the problem here? Right. Because uh, some of the play calling, just the, the running, you wait until the end of the game to start running the game successfully. I don't really get that. I, I don't know. I don't know yeah. what to think right now of this team. They are 5-2, and two, but not a very good 5-2 and two as of right now. Uh, we play the Saints at – Three, I think it's like three twenty-five on Sunday. A quick turnaround here. I, it's a week by week basis right now with the, the, this team. Seriously, you don't know yeah. what you got. It's like I said, they're still only a game out of first place in the division. I think it's gonna be a three-team race. Honestly, I think the Lions are going to be a decent team. I'm not gonna think they're gonna. I think some people overreacted to beating the Falcons. The Bears have beaten the Falcons. Um, also, what did you think of, I've, I've seen a lot of, uh, talk about that, uh, Todd Gurley falling in the end zone. He didn't want to, um, Yeah, I always remember when he fell into the, or he fell out of the end zone and then all the, uh, fantasy football talk, but all together here to recap this game in my mind is just try to forget it and hopefully it doesn't replay itself again on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a big thing, Zach, because New Orleans is, yeah, they're down a little bit. They're not the New Orleans they've been in the past, still but they're good. still a pretty formidable opinion, uh, opponent. Um, and you nailed it, man. I don't know about you, but the Cord- Cordero Patterson experiment at running back's got to stop, right? He had three carries yeah, for I don't one get more. why they kept doing that, kept doing that. Give it either to David Montgomery or we got to figure out something. we got to yeah. figure out something, like seriously. Like, it's it's bad. I mean, he. I think they worked that one week. He had a couple decent rushes, and then the NFL figured it out that anytime he's in a certain position, they're going to give him the ball because three rushes for one yard is pitiful. Um, awful, awful. It's awful. Yeah, it's it, it's just one of those. You know, like you said, I think it's. I think a lot of it has to do with the play calling, but you know, the fact of the matter is, is that you know, New. Uh, I'm sorry, LA just felt like they dominated that whole game, you know, from the beginning they to the end. I mean, they really did, honestly. And Johnny did. Hecker might be the best punter I've oh ever my, seen. And I, it was, I don't know how he was landing those balls. Like, I think they had at least five to six possessions that started within the five-yard line. No, they. so he had five punts last night for an average of 44.2 yards, and every single punt landed inside the 20. He, he was five for five inside the 20, and he had a long of a 63-yard punt. And they even showed it a little bit near the end of the game how he would, like, position the ball in a certain way when he kicks it so that it He's gets the best that. in the game the, right now. As of now, I mean, dude, he was just hitting bombs. And um, you think about that, it, it's – like when they were, they I think they got stuck at the one yard line and almost yeah. had a, a safety. I think that actually is a safety if you have a holding call in the end zone, uh, but that was yeah. close. I don't know, uh, but like you don't really realize uh, when you when you think about it how crucial that can be. I mean, the Bears were you can just you can just tell every time they started possession they were just backed up. They had to go 80, 90 yards just to get a touchdown and. They had they were nowhere near that kind of offense um, on Monday night at all. It was yeah. sad. The Rams the Rams brought the energy. It felt like, and the Bears just didn't seem to match it. Nope. 
But we move on to the Saints. Like I said, you got, it's five and two. You're still in the mix with everything. Um, but it's just kind of it's a week by week basis here, with especially the coach and where the trust level is and everything. And if if the if the quarterback doesn't trust him, I don't know if that is a good sign. At yeah, all. it's not a ringing endorsement, that's for sure. It is not, Boomy. 